Hello, Life Path number nine. Welcome back to Natural Nail Tarot. These are my natural nails, and this is tarot. Please don't mind my leg like this. They were folded, and it got real uncomfortable being folded for multiple readings. So this is what we're working with right now. With that being said, we're going to get into your reading, your current energy, blockages, focus, and energy coming towards you. Thank you, Spirit, for being a guardian, a guide, a protector, a teacher, for knowing all, for seeing all. Thank you, angels, for always being around me, guiding me, loving me, supporting me, and protecting me. I greatly appreciate it. I ask that you bring Life Path number nine's energy completely into this reading so that I can convey the message as clearly as possible. Thank you in advance, Spirit. All right, Life Path number nine. What do we have for your current energy? We have the Eight of Swords. What else, Spirit? The Page of Pentacles. The Two of Swords. So already, currently, it's looking like you are tied down in your thoughts about some new... Some new journey you're wanting to go on or some new something you're ready to learn something new but you may be blocking yourself from this new journey this new stability and here we go the car is ready to fly okay we have the nine of cups what else spirit The Six of Swords. I feel like you're very flustered with these thoughts. These cards, the way the way I'm shuffling them, they just they feel very flustered. And the Three of Cups. We have the Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So you're questioning, there may be a friendship or a relationship that you are questioning, if it's growing you, serving you, if it's going to fulfill you emo emotionally, um, you're wanting to move to a calmer place in your thoughts, but as of now, you are questioning if those around you are for you. This could be a relationship or friendship. This could even be in work with this page of pentacles here. What's the eight of swords here? What are they tied down in their thoughts about? The world. So you're questioning, you're tied down in your thoughts about ending something and starting something new. Especially with this page of pentacles here. You're wanting to learn something new. You're wanting to go for something new. You're really in your head about this with this hangman at the bottom of the deck. You do have a lot of love for whoever you're around, but you are questioning if they are growing you or holding you back. What's the page of pentacles? What is it that this person wants to pursue? The king of wands. You're wanting stability and um, you may be looking at your past in regards to the stability, but you're not sure. What's the two of swords here? The two of wands. So you're really confused about which direction to go in, which direction is going to make you happy which direction is going to fulfill you emotionally which direction is your wish fulfillment but you really want to get to a calm place in your thoughts yeah the sun is at the bottom of the deck you're questioning which direction is going to make you happy 
And what's this Three of Cups, Spirit? The Seven of Cups. So that can be you're wondering if what you're investing in right now, who you're giving your time to, your, your energy to, if it's an illusion. We have the Two of Swords. You can't tell if it's real or not. Okay, life path number nine. We're going to go into your blockages. What are life path number nine's blockages, Spirit? The Two of Wands again. What else? The Sun. We're going to take a few more. The high priestess. Mm, okay. Exactly what I thought it was. Okay, what else, Spirit? The magician. And the five of wands. We have the three of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So, spirit is needing for you to tap into your intuition. Because right now, you, you are feeling a little stuck mentally. Which would cause you to be stuck um, in a place emotionally of illusions. So, spirit is asking for you to tap into your intuition, which is going to guides you in the direction that you're supposed to be going in to bring in your happiness and spirit is saying you have what it takes to tap into your intuition you have all the tools you have everything you need but you may be feeling like you don't which is bringing this conflict this five of wands and is is causing conflict and your thoughts and maybe even a little bit on the outside of yourself so you really needed to tap into your intuition, number nine. Okay, what's the two of wands for direction for number nine? We have the four of wands. So there's definitely some type of relationship or connection with, you know, another person. Like I said, it doesn't have to be... Um, someone you're with intimately but spirit is wanting you to tap into your intuition to guide you towards what's right what else for the two of wands spirit that flew all the way over there so give me a second y'all Okay, the Page of Wands. One more. The Spirit is really wanting you to... There's a journey. Okay, the Eight of Cups. So if this relationship or these this friendship is bringing you any type of emotional lack, spirit is wanting you to walk away from things that are not that are not serving you emotionally. If the relationship is or the friendship isn't going to change, then it's a need for you to walk away from it and go on a new journey. And it's looking like you've been in this place for a while where you've been trapped in your thoughts about this. So if it's been a long time that you've been sitting in this trapped space, 
Spirit is wanting for you to go on a new journey and trust the new journey that you're being guided to go on. That's not saying that, you know, you won't return to this person or you and this these people or whoever this is won't be friends again. But as of now, if it's not serving you emotionally, if it's bringing you any type of emotional disappointment or lack, Spirit is wanting you to go on a new journey. What's the sign, Spirit? Oh, that slapped me in the mouth. <laughs> okay, so strength. Yeah, so spirit is needing you to really be strong about being connected to your intuition and about how to move forward. If you're going to have to walk away from this, it's going to require a lot of strength. Because, you know, walking away emotionally from things are never easy. It's never, it's never easy to do. But you have the strength to do it. You see how this, how she's taming this lion and this lion's tongue is out. And look at how this lion, I, let me see if I can get it close enough to focus. I don't know if you can see how this lion is looking up at her. It's going to require a lot of strength, but you have it in you. What's the high priestess? What is it that life path number nine knows? Spirit? The king of cups. What else, spirit? The devil. Okay, so you may know that this is a karmic relationship or an attachment, an emotional attachment for reasons that aren't fulfilling. You may be staying in this, but, but knowing you're attached for reasons that aren't going to grow you. We have the Hierophant at the bottom of the deck speaking to it being a contract or a lesson and with this devil in connection to this higher fence that speaks to a, a karmic relationship but spirit is saying with this high priestess spirit says you know this number nine what's the magician spirit the four of cups So that's you having everything that it takes to make this right, but not putting the effort, the effort forward or forth. Like you're using your powers to keep yourself in a disappointed, a place of emotional disappointment. You're using your powers to bring yourself what you don't truly want. You don't truly want this. With this devil here, you're staying in it for reasons that aren't real. We have the four of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Who <laughs> it changed my whole energy. It made me go like down, like the way I'm talking now. You're holding on to something that isn't real what's the five of wands spirit the five of wands is clarified by the ace of pentacles so you may be holding yourself back from something real a true stable connection spirit is saying it's up to you with this two of pentacles at the bottom of the deck.
Ooh, I don't know if I had a reading like this. It's really, um, I'm feeling this energy. Like, I, I can feel it. Okay, spirit. What's the focus? For, like, path number nine. The world is out here twice. The focus is an, an ending and a, a new beginning, a fresh new start. What else, spirit? The hermit, going within, soul searching. I'm going to take a few more. The ex of swords, the truth, mental clarity. What else, spirit? The devil again. Wow. Okay. The two of pentacles at the bottom of the deck again. I can't, I cannot make this up. I can't make this up. You are juggling with the idea of staying in something that you know is not for you. Yeah, I can't make this up. We have this love offer, but you, you're giving, you're, you're offering it to disappointment emotionally. And then look at the bottom of this deck. The three of swords. The eight of wands. This is a fast, fast movement towards heartbreak. The tower. You are attached to something that you know you're giving something so much of you and so much of your love that you know is not for you. This is, the devil is out here twice. This is surely a karmic relationship. I'm sorry to have to break it to you. I'm the messenger. Don't shoot me. This is what this is. It, it doesn't lie. Now, if this is not your story, if you don't resonate with this, please, by all means and any means, click off. But. If you are a person that's been juggling in your thoughts or trapped in your thoughts about whether this is for you or not, it is not <laughs> for you. We're going to clarify this focus. What's the world spirit? We have the Ace of Cups. So the world is a, an ending and a brand new beginning. So ending this... It's going to bring in true love. It's going to bring in pure love. It's going to bring in the ultimate love. Not only from another person in the future, but also for yourself. Because when you... This is a codependent relationship. Whether it's a relationship with a, with a significant other or a friendship. Whatever type of relationship this is that you're attached to is codependency. And karmic. Meaning this is just somebody you're supposed to be learning a lesson from, but not sticking around. What's the hermit spirit? The magician, again. Having the power and the tools to learn this lesson, to learn yourself. To understand what's for you and what's not. This is very clear. This reading is very, very clear. What's the Ace of Swords? The Seven of Pentacles. Give me one more for the Ace of Swords, Spirit. The Four of Pentacles. So this is why you're holding on to this. Because you feel like you've invested in this. And you don't want to let go of something. You have already put so much time and money into you don't want to let go all right let's clarify the devil we have the king of swords at the bottom of the day what's the devil spirit the five of pentacles basically you know if it, if you stay wow the two of cups at the bottom of the day if you stay attached to this, 
no matter what, you're going to feel left out in the cold because it's not for you. This doesn't mean that there isn't something out there for you. This just means that this isn't. But you know this with this high priestess. You know you've been feeling this. This is why you're so trapped in your thoughts. If you stay attached to whatever this relationship, friendship, whatever this is, at the end of the day, you're going to feel left out in the cold. You're not going to be satisfied. Wow. You may just be staying in it. When And when I say selfish reasons, you may be staying in it for selfish reasons. But when I say that, I don't mean that you're using this person or anything like that. I mean to not deal with the consequences, which will be what you'll have to feel if you were to walk away from this. That's what I mean by selfish reasons. You're not wanting to feel the hurt of walking away from this. You're not wanting to feel the hurt of this not being what was meant to be. You don't want to face choosing something that wasn't meant to be. Okay. Um, energy coming towards life path number nine. The queen of swords. The five of pentacles. If this ain't clear, I don't know what it is, y'all. The Nine of Pentacles. The Eight of Cups, again. We have the Five of Pentacles and the Eight of Cups out here twice. Give me one more, Spirit. The Eight of Pentacles. Six of Wands at the bottom of the day. So let me get into what this is saying. This Queen of Swords is assertive. This Queen of Swords know what's for her. Know what decisions to make in order to bring in what's for her. This Queen of Swords, this is energy coming towards you, life path number nine. So this Queen of Swords is walking away from that cold, being left out in the cold feeling and working on themselves with this nine of pentacles. Um, putting in that hard work and enjoying the fruits of your labor. Walking away with this eight of cups, walking away from things that don't serve you emotional, emotionally. Walking away from emotional disappointments. Taking that one cup and going and leaving with, with what you have. And working on self with this eight of pentacles. This is very, very clear. You're needing to set boundaries for what you want, for what you're moving towards and working towards and what's really, really going to serve you. What's the Queen of Swords there? What is the Queen of Swords? The Three of Swords. It's going to hurt. It is. It's going to hurt. But really, it's about looking in that mirror and looking at what you're choosing and choosing something better than choosing something different. Okay, what's the five of pentacles? The ten of pentacles. You want this to be, whatever this relationship is, you want this to be the end all. You want to stop here, but it's not the one. We have the Eight of Swords again at the bottom of the deck. Being trapped in your thoughts. I know you want this to be the one, but it's not. And the longer you stay in it, the longer you're going to feel trapped. The longer you're holding yourself back from what's really for you. Spirit is wanting this Nine of Pentacles approaching. Spirit is wanting you to focus on yourself so that you can bring in what's for you. Spirit is asking for you to learn yourself some more.
It's the Nine of Pentacles anyway. Even though I'm saying what it is. We have the Emperor and the Four of Swords. So Spirit is saying, take control of your healing. Take control. Don't just sit in something because of what you want it to be. You got to take control of your healing. Look, the Eight of Wands at the bottom of the deck. That's positive forward movement. I can't make this stuff up. Spirit is really wanting you to take control of your healing. You are the master of what your life is. So if you're in a trapped place... It's not because you want to be there, but it's because you're allowing yourself to be there. Okay. What's the Eight of Cups? Three of Pentacles. Walking away from collaborations that are not serving you, from friendships, relationships that are not serving you emotionally, that are not lifting you up, that are not building you up. We have the Ace of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Walking towards mental clarity. The truth. The truth will always reveal itself. No matter when and how. It always will reveal itself. What's the Eight of Pentacles spirit? The Three of Cups. Working towards friendships and, and relationships that do serve you. Knight of Cups. Giving your love to people that genuinely love you back. Okay. What divine abundance... Do we have for life path number nine? Ooh, okay. Divine flow. What else, spirit? I'm going to go ahead and take this one since it's poking out like that. Awakening. Give me one more. All right, two more. I'll take them. Loss is at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so we have divine flow. Eventually, one sublime, one sublime desire takes precedence over all others to follow the Tao, the divine flow at all costs. Really just listening to your intuition, you know, listening to the divine, listen to the, listening to what you know you're being guided to do. Awakening, oh my Lord, wake me from life as a spiritual sheep. May I hear you through my own instincts and common sense. It's so clear. I cannot make this stuff up, y'all. Letting go. Everything is indeed out of control, and God will hold it all. I can safely let go. So it's just about not worrying about the hurt that you're going to feel, because you're really going to feel more hurt if you stay in something that you know is not for you. Right action. Aparigraha. Literally means let everything that wants to go, go, and everything that wants to come, come. All of this is adding up. I can't force these cards to come out, you know. So, um, and I don't even mean to be down your throat, life path number nine. If you think that's what I'm doing, I'm, please, that's, trust me. I've had to learn many lessons in this lifetime. Um... I really hope that you're taking this the right way. And by right, I mean like with love. Um, because like I said in other readings, we're all here to learn the lesson. And this is just your lesson. So I hope that you're taking this with love and not me like pounding you on the head or judging you or anything like that. But you know, the devil with these karmic relationships it's just, it's not for you. And with this high priestess, you already know. All right, spirit. What star seed oracles do you have for life path number nine? Give me 
one more, please, Spirit. Okay. We have Earth Pulsing, Pulse of the Mother, Slow Down, Time and Nature. That's about really connecting to the earth. Really feeling the heartbeat of the earth. Connecting to other living things outside of being a human being. So that you can see this way deeper than it just being about you. Um, it's bigger than you, you know, so... Spirit is asking for you to connect to the earth, the heartbeat of the earth, the other living things that are a part of the earth because this earth was here before we were as humans. It doesn't need us. We need it. <laughs> you know? So connecting to this earth will show you that it's bigger than you and what you're learning is bigger than you and what you're learning will serve you way more than being stuck and attached to something that doesn't baby steps action follow your intuition before it makes sense listen to where you're being guided to it's for a reason you know don't worry about the hurt you're gonna feel walking away from this because like i said being stuck in it is going to be even worse and what spirit is showing like it's going to end regardless so it's it's either now or then not now or never it's now or then all right what major arcanas do we have for life path number nine the tower so that's a huge realization what else spirit The Hierophant, that's a lesson. The Chariot is at the bottom. So really take this as a lesson. But in this lesson, learn what you want to bring in. Once you learn this lesson, you're going to bring something totally different in from what you're experiencing. And it's going to be beautiful. The world is out here twice. So don't be afraid to end something that's going to bring a, a new beginning that's going to be so beautiful for you. All right, Life Path number nine, I wish you the best of luck and many, many blessings. We are, Like I said, we are all here learning lessons. So please don't think that I was pounding you on the head in this reading. This is with love and guidance. Nothing less, nothing more nothing else that's that's it <laughs> thank you for watching and come again